Hello. My name is Chris. I'm a virtual pilot for over 10 years. Welcome to my video about how to cheaply build panels for virtual flying. I fly a simulator Lockheed Martin Prepare 3D, an aircraft type is PMDG Boeing 737NGX. I start with a little presentation of my cockpit and how I fly without using keyboard and mouse. Here is the main screen with simulators forward view from main window, right side the screen with view from the right window, and left side the screen with view from the left window. My cockpit consists of three panels. Here is the main panel in front of the pilot, then overhead panel above, and finally, pedestal panel on the right hand side of the pilot. You can also see other devices, such as flight computer, that you operate by touching the tablet. Honeycomb Bravo throttle quadrant with throttles, reversals, flaps, spoiler lever, speed brake, elevator trim, and landing gear. Radio panel where you change radio, ILS frequencies, and scope by turning knobs. For example, when I turn altitude knob on my panel, altitude display is changing on my simulator. When I flick a logo light switch on my panel, logo light switch is mowing on my simulator. In this video, I'll cover how I build panels. I started with planning what functions I want to run from panels. How many and what kind of switches I need. I prioritized by importance of each function and cost effectiveness. I decided to include only major functions and those that are frequently used while flying. Main functions such as heading, altitude, speed, lights, pumps, APU, isolation valves, IRS are all important. When you are flying in bad weather or heavy traffic and need to execute air traffic controller's commands quickly, it's difficult to position your mouse pointer above a knob and turn it left or right. Also, it's tricky to change radio frequencies quickly by using mouse pointer. The solution is build panels. I ordered my specific for flying switches and knobs from desktopaviator.com. Together with circuit boards and cables. Some standard switches I bought from eBay or local shop. I use standard on forward slash off toggle switches as well as illuminated switches to bring some color effect to my panels. While waiting for delivery, I selected and downloaded the PDF images of my future panels. I chose sizes that would fit on my desk and in my computer room. The next step was taking images as PDF to a printing local workshop to print it with desired size on a thick, gloss and color paper. I call this product paper sheet panels. Next step was buying and cutting panels from acrylic sheets to the size of paper sheet panels. It was done by a local plastic and glass cutting company. The panels have thickness of 5 mm. After having acrylic sheet and paper sheets panels cut, I placed paper sheets on acrylic panels and punched marks for each switch. I then went back to plastic cutting workshop and let them drill the acrylic sheet with holes as marked with desired size for the switches. The final step was attaching paper sheets of the panels and mounting switches. This concluded the first phase of planning and panel preparation. The next phase was working on the back of each panel. I attached circuit boards to the back of each panel. I plugged in cable to each board and started soldering each cable to a switch or a knob. 
circuit board itself is plugged into USB port of your computer. This process would take some time or couple of days. Next stage is software setup. You need a software that would talk to your switches and to your simulator. I chose an inner, which is a fee package and has a module for PMDG aircraft. Linda is recognizing all my circuit boards. I have three 2570, one 2040, one rotary, and other devices. You need to flick a switch and see what port is responding. In this case, this is logo light on port 6 on circuit board type 2570. The switch is on the overhead panel. I need to set function logo light in one of Linda's models. Once selected, save, restart Linda and flick logo light switch and observe this switch is flicking on your simulator. You need to do the same to all switches and knobs on your panels. This is really all that is needed. Very straightforward except that doing this for dozens of switches may take you a while. The result is cool. Thanks for watching my video. In my other videos I'll cover how to set up flying instruments such as radio panel, throttle box and flight computer.